everyone welcome to the show my name is Zen and I'm Levon and this is let's talk on tonight's show we have the lovely Robin Bosman the oh. author writer of let me show it Lizzie Lizard <laughs> welcome to the show Robin thank you for having me mm -hmm. introduce yourself who are you where you're from <laughs> um, what else we have we where you're from, who your people be. <laughs> who your people be, yes. Who my people be, okay. <laughs> um, as was mentioned, my name is Robin Bosman, and I'm a teacher at mm -hmm. the System Magda Primary School. Nice. Um, who I'm from. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> my mom was also a teacher, um, known as Teacher Anz. Most people know her. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, my dad is Raphael Bosman. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's who I'm from. <laughs> yes. Yes. Born and raised here. Born and raised. Mm -hmm. Daughter of the soil. Daughter of the soil. Exactly. Prodigy. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome. And um, um, I didn't get a book. And I must tell you, I just bought the book because she, as she came out of the car with uh, uh, about five books, I said, okay, I have to buy this book right now. Lizzie Lizard. I heard <laughs> all about it. It's too cute, isn't it? It is so amazing. It's really a nice book. And, and how did you come up with the story? Yes. Tell us about what, what this book is about and how you came up with the story. Well, this book was actually written in 2009, okay. more or less. Mm -hmm. I was studying at the University of St. Martin, getting yes. my Bachelor's of Education. Great. Mm -hmm. And um, we got a class assignment by... Dr. Rhoda Arundel at the time. Nice. Mm -hmm. She was teaching us children's literature, so we had to create a children's book and present it to a panel. Mm -hmm. And um, I had no idea what to write about. <laughs> I was completely blank. No experience before no, writing no, books. No, no. This or was my first ever. Experience. No poetry, nothing. Wow. This was mm -hmm. the first. And a day I was sitting in the yard and I saw a lizard crawl across, and I was like, oh, there you go. <laughs> a lizard. So. Uh -huh. That's kind of how the story came about. I grabbed my friend Shira, she was also in the program at the time. Mm -hmm. We drove around the island taking pictures of all the different locations that are mentioned in the book. Nice. And then I put the book together and on the due date I presented the book to the panel and on the panel was Mr. Lasana Suku. Oh. And he instantly fell in love with the book because oh, it is wow. a book of about the island. Yeah. yeah. And he said, right then and there, we need to publish this book. Great. But it took five years. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it happened. It's, yeah. It took some time, but in the end, it got published. It, it was, I wasn't even ex expecting right. to have a published book. So that in itself is a great accomplishment for me. Yes, so. and Lasana gave you that window. Yes. You know, he gave that a window yes. of opportunity to, whenever you're ready, just come and... and, and oh, it was like, immediately, we have to publish this. Let's get nice. together. Let's sit. Let's work this out. We put in the request for funding, mm -hmm. and it was actually funded by the Ministry of Education. Wonderful. So yeah. that started the whole thing. Yeah. And here's yeah. Lizzie Lizard. But tell us about the story. Like, what, what is yes. the story about? I bought mine. I'm going to go home tonight with my kids, and we're going to read it, and can't wait. <laughs> so, but well, it, it's, a little synopsis. It's about the main character, Lizzie Lizard, who goes on an adventure around the Phillipsburg area, mm -hmm. Phillipsburg, Soccer Garden and meets new friends along the way and various local animals. Mm -hmm. okay. So there's the mongoose, the iguana, the soldier crab, yes. the pelican. Nice. <laughs> and um, it's basically about being adventurous uh -huh. and being open to making new friends mm -hmm. and not being afraid to say, hi, my name is, mm -hmm. and starting a friendship based on that. Oh, so, <laughs> and it highlights various monuments and locations mm -hmm. like the courthouse the so this is a great social studies yes, book actually yes definitely too, yeah. definitely and it's it's geared towards age group four to nine mm -hmm. yeah. but i have come to realize that kids older mm -hmm. as well as adults enjoy mm -hmm. the book so that makes it <laughs> yeah very nice so you use it in your own classroom as well i have used it especially around st martin's day because it mm -hmm. highlights certain mm -hmm. locations mm -hmm. um and throughout if if there's ever free time i bring it up and we we read and the nice part is there are certain repetitive sentences so mm -hmm. the younger children can get yeah, involved yeah, nice. and repeat. So I have used it in my class. I have co-workers that have used it. Mm -hmm. Or oh, former classmates who are also now teaching oh, use it. Nice. So it, it is nice. Mm -hmm. Did you dedicate it to anyone? or is I it dedicated it to my son. Oh, he's yes. how old? <laughs> he's five now. Oh, that's yes, nice. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm sure he knows the whole story. 
Um, My heart now. Nah. Something like that. <laughs> he sees the book and he sees the picture. He's like, Mommy, look, Lizzie Lizard. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. And his picture is on the back of the book as well. So mm -hmm. he gets excited every time he sees that. Yes. Oh, so. that is too sweet. Oh. I need to show that one. <laughs> this one? It is oh, too cute. Oh, that is so sweet. That's so nice. cute. Really good. Nice. Really, yes. really nice. Is there... um. Um, is there a message that in the book that you really would want to relate to to children that you would want children to take from mm -hmm. the book? Um, mainly to to be willing to approach people and, and get to know others, even though they're different. Mm -hmm. Because in this story, the lizard approaches the mongoose. Yes. I mean, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. it doesn't come more different than that. And, mm -hmm. and it shows the children that it's okay to mm -hmm. approach others to say, hi, my name is, how are you? Right. And um, so that was the, one of the main messages. And then as well as letting kids know where they are from, mm -hmm. right. their island, yeah. highlighting certain things like the pineapple at the top of the courthouse, which yes. they don't normally notice. Mm -hmm. So that that all of that is so mentioned true. in the book. So. so Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Femi, yeah. Femi had to, to say it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> For her social studies, and she yes. came home and said, I yes. got 100. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so those, those were the things that I wanted to really yeah. bring out in the book. And keeping in mind that when I wrote the original book, it wasn't with the intention of having it published. Yeah. It was just thinking of the age group that I uh -huh. wanted to go into, which yeah. was the kindergarten age group. Mm -hmm. And that's how it came about. Is that your favorite age group? I mean, the kindergarten? Because uh -huh. I'm always thinking, like, <laughs> I'm going to become a kid. My next job is going to be a kindergarten teacher because I think it's so much fun. It is a lot of fun. I mean, not when you have a lot of kids. No, how many kids? No, that would be really, really busy. No, I can't deal with it. Let me deal with my teenagers. It is definitely a challenge. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. People underestimate what has to be done with kindergartners. Mm -hmm. They think it's all singing and playing with and clay. Having, and, yeah, yes. it, it, yeah. It, and it is a lot of that. But Don't deter me. I'll, I'll. No, it, it, it's, it's <laughs> I wonderful. Know. I love working with the yeah. four-year-olds, but That's it a is a lot of work. That's people underestimate yes. what is involved with it. So. Yes. Yes. But it, it is nice, though. Those who are not completely potty trained yet. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, oh, yes. that's yeah. the part I'm like, oh. Yes. <laughs> we go no, through no, all no, of no, that. No, no. <laughs> is there any characters in the book that you think you associate yourself with or that you can say that's pretty much me? <laughs> like, I'm going um, to do it tonight. I'm going to start reading. I'm like, okay, let's see if I'm the Mongols or. <laughs> I'm going to so text you, Lisa. I'm, I'm going to ask you which one are you. I'm going to be busy. Yeah. yeah. Um, Honestly, I can't say there is one character that really, yeah, relate, yeah. yeah, that I can relate to in that sense. Mm -hmm. There's a little of each mm -hmm. where I pull a little bit of myself from, mm -hmm. like Lizzie Lizard. I have some moments where I can mm -hmm. be open and say, "Hey, how are you? Let's right, talk." Right, right. Yeah. And there are some moments where I'm like, mm. yeah. <laughs> "Let me just stay in the background." Mm -hmm. So it it, it it wasn't really focus written with with me in mind. It was more written mm -hmm. of the message what I would like to send to kids. Yeah. In that sense. Yeah, but, um, what I wanted to ask, right, are there a lot of books that are published here on St. Martin and written here on St. Martin? Because I don't come across to a lot, lot of... There are, because my book was published with the House of Nehesi, and yeah. they do publish books. Lots. There aren't that many children's books. That's yeah. what I was about to yes. say, yeah, because yeah. I would love to see more children's yes. books. Book that yes, is published locally. and made and written here. Yeah. Yeah. There, there aren't many. I think mine's was the first for that age group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There is another that is for the older age the group. The Luki Morales uh, Luki Morales, but... A um, older, yeah, that's the older... Uh, older age um, yeah. group, but I don't think she publishes with the same publisher. Oh, so okay. yeah. I'm not 100% sure, but mm -hmm. I don't think so. Um, but I do know that mine was the first for that age group from mm -hmm. House of Nehesi. Yeah. So you yeah. think like it's so easy to write a book because it's a little, it's for kids. No, um, it's I'm, hard. I think it's so no. difficult. It's hard. I you have to keep the, the language that you use in mind because yeah. we would speak to each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then when we have to speak to a four year old, they'll watch us like, what does that mean? What yeah. does that mean? You have to that word. word. You don't what have is that to, word? <laughs> exactly. You don't have to, as some people say, dumb it down, but you yeah. have to break it down to that it's... To explain. Yeah, yeah. so that they yeah. can understand. And yeah. that, that is the hard part because yeah. it's easy to write something that I know adults can read and understand, right. but yeah. you have to put yourself in the, the mindset English. of a four-year-old exactly. or a nine-year-old yeah. and yeah. see yeah. what works for them. Yeah. yeah. And that is what makes it hard. Yeah, because I constantly get at when I'm reading storytelling. I'm hoping, like, let me see. Can I see the mm -hmm. um, 
if 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 it's if it's a book that I want to read tonight because I know my <laughs> daughter would be like, oh yes, but I'll have to tell her, Femi, you cannot read the whole book tonight. Yes, yes, yes. We will read it, uh, you know, yeah. for a couple of the, days. The pictures that I find yes. so amazing. <laughs> it's so cute. Uh huh. They're beautiful. The yes. illustrator. Who was the illustrator? Um, yeah. The photography that was done Tony. by um, Robert oh, yeah. Sanchez. Yeah. And uh, Mr. Rumley. Mm -hmm. And it was. Um, oh, it's a combination of photography with, um, how to say, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. sketch art, uh, yeah. mixture. So it's not a, yeah. a full-on picture, but it is a picture taken and slightly distorted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It has that um, oomph to yeah. it. Um, and that was done off island, but yeah. by locals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yes. did you did you have a say in what you wanted il um, so illustrated? You know? the, the the cover image. I received three different images, which I could choose the cover image from. This is beautiful. Yeah. And I was under note. the impression that as the book goes along, we'll go together. Yeah. And I did I, the editing and and everything took place with Mr. Suku and and yeah. Dr. Arundel yeah. and yeah. And then one day Mr. Suku called me. He said, I, "Let's sit for a meeting. I have something to show you." Mm -hmm. So we went to Holland House and I'm, I'm all nervous because I'm like yeah. thinking something is wrong uh -huh. and then out he pulls the book he's like here's your book and I was like oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, what yeah. a sense of pride yes, it, it, I was oh, really I was like beautiful. a kid like oh my gosh oh yeah. my gosh so it was it yes. was um a surprise to me as yeah. well but yeah. a pleasant surprise so when is the next volume coming up yes. <laughs> is there a um, next volume coming up did you I, did you get the taste of it of writing more doing or what more? are you writing on right now, now. <laughs> yeah. like what well is it? i i have started a part two okay. okay um i got some inspiration from the kids who play baseball on the the field next to the carnival village yes and I went to them afternoon to do a reading because they have a great program awesome. there where they get tutoring and then they play baseball. Awesome. And so yeah. I went to read the book. And, and the little league. Yes. Little league yes. Mark. Okay. And um, they, they, at the end of the reading, they were like, um, you need to put us in the next book and put the little league. <laughs> and That's so sweet. So <laughs> nice. I have that very really many nice. tips and, and yeah. ideas. And I started mm -hmm. and then... I got stuck and then I paused and so yeah. I have to get back into it again. But yeah. there, there are plans for number two. Yes, nice. yes, yes, yes. And I can imagine why you're slowing down for a minute, eh? with a little belly yes, growing. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Baby number two. Baby number two. <laughs> nice. And how are you feeling? I'm, I'm it's rough. It. I know. <laughs> I know. It's rough. We've been but through it. We've yes. Through oh, it. yes. Oh, yeah. We've been through it. Um, <laughs> what, what was it like for you growing up on St. Martin? Um, How I was growing up here? Did you, you read a lot when you were small? In my memory, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if my mother might agree. <laughs> um, I had a good childhood growing yeah. up. Um, mm -hmm. I had very involved parents. Mm -hmm. My mom, also being a teacher, had a lot of time to spend with us. So we mm -hmm. did do a lot of going to the beach and going to the library mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Um, I, I liked to read, but it had to be a specific kind mm -hmm. of book or story. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't just pick up any book and read. Mm -hmm. And if I'm not mm -hmm. feeling it, I'm not going to get into it. Mm -hmm. um, but in general, I, I, I grew up with family members close by. And yeah. I have a brother. So we were all nice. Nice. in all a very loving family. Yes, yes. definitely. But do you think, Robin, mm -hmm. that, because I don't know, I have mixed feelings about, about reading on the island, reading amongst the students from small on. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't see it a lot of happening. No. It's yeah. not, no. unfortunately, inside. What, what do you think? Why is that? Um, I see it with my son, mm -hmm. that they're more interested in the video games mm -hmm. and, and stuff like that. And it's hard to get them back to reading, because reading yeah. is something where you have to use your imagination. Mm -hmm. And a lot of kids from very early on, in my opinion, are busy with the video games, and they don't develop that mm -hmm sense of yeah. imagination so it's yeah. hard to get into a book it, yes. that's my opinion yeah mm -hmm. um and there are some kids who are so interested in books that yeah. you see them yeah. in a book all day so it, yeah. i guess it, it just varies I, yeah. it, it all depends on a chi each child as well because yeah. some yeah. children just have it in them to read and some they just yeah they just have that <laughs> knack yeah, you know yeah. like uh, it's they have it to just 
Just, just inquisitive. Just want to yeah. know what's going on. What's you know. But I do think that reading should be stimulated a little Absolutely. more from a younger age. Expand yeah. your vocabulary, yeah. and then yes. like in a Game yeah. Boy or sitting right. in front of the yeah. computer does not. Yeah. Yeah. It's so inactive. Yeah. There, I, I, like I said, I notice it with my son. Sometimes I have to pull away this thing and yeah. say, okay, yeah. now let's go do something else. Yeah. So yeah. where can we buy this book? Where yes. can if persons want to um, purchase Lizzie Lizard? <laughs> <laughs> I have copies of Lizzie Lizard, and mm -hmm. they are also at Van Dorp and yes. the shipwreck shops. Mm -hmm. Oh great! And um, I'm actually bringing more to Van Dorp very soon because <laughs> they're out. Yes. Um, but definitely Van Dorp shipwreck shops and myself have them. And the library will eventually have them? Library also has a few copies of it that you can loan. Yes. Nice. yes. Oh, that's really, yes. really they nice. They got from the beginning. As soon as the book was um, launched, they got books from the beginning. So. Oh, good. So is it, is it that you wanted to always, when you were young, to become a writer? Or no. you wanted to always <laughs> become a teacher? I always, I always had that. I'm going to be a teacher. I, I followed in my mother's footsteps, as, yeah. as many said. Mm -hmm. And my mind was always on teaching. Mm -hmm. And it is because of the, the teaching program, mm -hmm. when I got that assignment, is how the book came about. If it mm -hmm. wasn't for that, I don't think I would have ever written a book, oh, to be honest. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? That's a, but you did journey. your studies completely here? You yes. didn't go away to study I, and come back? I or? went. I left the island. I uh -huh. went to the Netherlands, like many people do. Uh -huh. Yeah. And uh, six months to the day I came back. Yeah. <laughs> it, it happens a lot. Yes. And I've been to, to, to Holland many, many times as a child because yeah. my mom is originally from Holland. Oh. Yes. So every summer we went there. So I, I, I knew the weather. I knew the, 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 the Holland as a country. Mm -hmm. But living there is completely different than vacationing. Yeah. And yeah. after a while, I mm -hmm. was like, no. <laughs> yeah, I remember just when I went myself, there was also another... Um, young lady herself too and I just remember her like by <laughs> we went like August and uh, she was there from July I think and by uh, September I think October I just hey, remember I'm packing up I'm gone I'm gone I'm yeah. going back home I'm like really like we just we just <laughs> got here like give yourself yeah. some time but you yeah. know yeah. you know when yeah. and then she moved she went to she went to the states and she did her stuff there in the states right. did her studies but you know when it's like mm, exactly this thing for me at all. In all honesty, because I knew I could do the study on the island yeah. is what motivated uh, me okay. to come back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for that, I definitely would have stayed because yeah. I do believe education is important. What, right. what are you going to do without yeah. your yeah. paper in your hand? So yeah. because of that, um, it, it kind of pushed me like, mm, yeah. it's here. I can come yeah. back. So yeah. Yeah. And with the guidance of your parents too, you know, I think. Yes, that they, that were very, they were very um, accepting. They weren't all that pleased initially. Were they yeah. shocked? Like, yeah. it's Holland. Yes, it, I actually came to the decision when my father came to the Netherlands for right. the, the Christmas vacation. Because yes. they always advise not to come back for your first yes. vacation. Yes. So he came up and that didn't really help because I was like, Hope I need safe. to come back. <laughs> but they yes, advise yes. they advise you not to come home, but daddy still comes oh, up. Yeah, up yeah, and yeah. Makes it so they try to, to, yeah, to resolve remedy. that yeah. me but coming may home. May I add, what was it then that you, you didn't connect with Holland? Um, the weather, the food, the people, the, the <laughs> I economy? Think, I think um, I, I just was really homesick. Mm -hmm. And like I mentioned, my family grew up very close <laughs> with each other. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. I have family in the Netherlands, but it, it's different because I, I, your family who you grew up with yeah. is different than the family who you see every yes, once absolutely. a year. Yeah, mm -hmm. And um, it, at some point, it just became too much. I wasn't sleeping at night and mm -hmm. wow. I wasn't doing well at the school mm -hmm. where I was. Mm -hmm. There was a, a class of 20-something 20, 20 mm -hmm. that started off and there was no one-on-one -on -one yeah. individual mm -hmm. you know yeah. you, you didn't get that sense of that you, no you, you, you'd be, you wouldn't be missed if you weren't in class that's the yeah. feeling i got yeah so it kind of all became too much yeah. and eventually i just figured hey i'm coming home yeah yeah and, and that was the best decision exactly done exactly mm -hmm. and being that this the edu the, the the program was on the island mm -hmm. is why i decided to mm -hmm. come back are you doing any readings in the library? I knew you had, um, when you first came out with the book that you did a uh, reading yeah. um, in the library, was it last year sometime? I think it was either September, I remember there was something. It's, yes, they, it, I have done readings at mm -hmm. um, the library, but also at a few different schools. Oh, great. Um, but I haven't done any recently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping now to get back into the yes. book promotion. Yes, and, and just let me know when you went to the MAC. <laughs> We know, I, you, I would we know honestly, Zen is fine at Sister Mark now, but <laughs> let me know when you go into that. No, I would honestly like mm -hmm. to see the book itself in more schools. I know that the yeah. schools have, many schools have a budget mm -hmm. where they have to get the necessities. Right. And if there's any left over, then they get mm -hmm. 
the additional stuff. Mm -hmm. So oftentimes it isn't in the budget to purchase a few copies that each class has instead of just one in the school library. But they should, it's a local it's, book. I know the, the Rotary oh. Club po yeah. purchased some books Great. and they donated to the schools. Great. Yeah. And, and I'm very grateful for that because it is in the schools. Mm -hmm. um, but then it's in the, oh, either in the, the school library or maybe one class has it and mm -hmm. I would like to see it in yeah. more yeah. classes. Yeah. Yes, yes. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping <laughs> that um, the various companies on the island mm -hmm. make that, that effort to purchase a box of books and then mm -hmm. donate it to the schools, to mm -hmm. you know, to get they it. They should. Yeah. yeah, they should. I'm they hoping should. they do. I'm hoping they do. I, I've been reaching out to certain companies, so mm -hmm. I'm hoping it, it will happen. Because mm -hmm. to me, it is important to get these books yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. And, and really, Absolutely. and the fact that it's actually from a local yeah, that yeah. makes author. it special. Because you know you're yeah. an author now. Yes. <laughs> a teacher and an author. Yes. A teacher and an author. Yes, yes. So you have now joined the ranks of... <laughs> yes, yes. Sometimes I forget until I see the book. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I did that. Yeah, yeah. Pinch yourself. Nice. <laughs> Is it really yeah. me? Yeah. Any future plans? Yeah. Um, I'm hoping to eventually um, do my master's in the, the education area, hopefully in the counseling oh, mm -hmm. sector. Yeah. Um, and for now, just... Work hard, be the best mother I can be to my kids. And I know. I know. Get there. Know, yeah. <laughs> Get a baby brother to bond yes. with. We're not sure if it's baby, baby sister, sister yet or baby brother yet. We'll but see. <laughs> We will yeah, see when it happens, yeah. Yeah. you know, yeah. so I, I hope you do get the opportunity to get into some yeah. of the classrooms yes. and um, and get the kids to really uh, enjoy reading. Like Naima, I remember my daughter them. was all into the Amelia Bedelia. I don't know if you know those yes. books. Yes. Yes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and now and Femi is into the Mercy Watson, the pig books now, oh, and okay. that's where she's She's at, and then she's also into the scary books. Like, okay. But of course, running and hiding after. Like, yeah. I can't leave the room. She wants to read it. Yeah. But then I can't leave the room. I have to stay right yeah, there. Yeah. La Vox Vox is very theatrical, <laughs> very dramatical. I wonder where she gets it from. She, she had her birthday, if you don't mind me. Yes, I had yes. a birthday party. Uh -huh. You should see this child singing happy birthday. It was closed eyes, with full of passion and emotion, and we were all staring at her. It was the funniest thing. If and you're going, sure going to do anything, do it with everything exactly. you've got. She's going to be one of those Lizzy Lizards. So <laughs> she's into the scary books right now, yeah. The Haunted House. Okay, okay. <laughs> but I cannot leave that room. I have to stay right there with her. Until but yes. it's time to go to the restroom during the night. She has to wake her big sister up. But she's into the she's book. A trip. That's good. She's she has a good imagination. Yes. She does. Yes. She yes. does. So I'm, I'm, I'm like, I would love, I mean, she would love for you to actually, I'm going to read the book, of course, yes. with her. And, uh, but to actually go to the class and, and the different yes, schools yes. and really promote that. Yeah. We do have local Yes, yes. Yeah. Authors. And I whenever think. I do a reading, I try to pass the message that mm -hmm. this came to me unexpectedly and yeah. it could also happen to, to you, you if exactly. you put your the effort and energy into oh, that's it. A, exactly. That's a nice yes. message. Yes. That's exactly. A, yes. that's, as we're coming to the ending of the show, I think that's a beautiful yes. um, message. Expect the unexpected and put your best into everything that you do because you never know mm -hmm. what... Yeah will happen, what the outcome will yeah. be. And Beautiful. I can't wait for that next, next book with the, with, uh, with the boys yeah. and the league. I mean, I can't wait to hear that. We'll that have is have her back, of awesome course. Awesome book. We'll have her back, of course. Awesome. I'm going to have another idea, but we can't say it because it's an idea. So I want you to um, okay, no think problem. about it. And then when, it's, when we're ready, we'll throw it all out. OK. Robin, so, um, thank get you. Get, get your kids you know, the nice book, yes. Lizard. It's by Van Dorp. Van it's Dorp and uh, Shipwreck Shops. Shipwreck Shops. Uh, yes. It's a fun, fun book. Mm -hmm. So uh, go yes. and get them. Yeah. Robin, thank you so much for joining <laughs> us. It's, it's goes yes. goes so fast. Yes, yes, it does. It yes, was it does. fun and yeah. all the best, all the luck and, and thank you. <laughs> I'm going to need it. <laughs> and a great journey with the kids Absolutely. and enjoy thank mommyhood you. also. Thank you. you know, I will. So. I will. And thank you so much for being here. Yeah. So this was another show of right. Let's, Let's Talk. Talk. <laughs> thank you for watching us, and yeah. we'll see you next week. Next right. week with bye another bye. amazing show. <laughs> Ciao. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>